Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, Handy Andy On Demand. And we're out today at a stucco home in Sandy Springs going through a, a bunch of typical repairs for us, not so typical for this homeowner, but he's ended up with a bunch of water inside his house at this window and at this window. And a lot of times with water intrusion, uh, it's not from one obvious source. It's usually from several different things. So on his house, and if it's similar to your house, you see the street and crust from the house right here? It's because there's no kick out flashing right here. So a little bit of water is getting between. Every time it heavy rains, the water comes around, clogs this down to this gutter, and it drops right here. So you're getting some of that, that water is getting in to the foundation area over there. The windows themselves have never been caulked and painted properly ever. Uh, and he had a horrific handyman that did some work in here that my son is 11 years old and he could do a better job. And that's trouble for homeowners in Atlanta is finding people to do the stuff and do it right. Um, he's got some bulge up here over the gutter line and the guys will check that. I don't have a ladder out here with me today to check it myself. This window above right here, the bottom uh, sash on this particular left window is rotted. So we'll skin that over again. It's easier and cheaper to fix your windows. But one of the things that it took me a minute to notice, and it's going to be hard to see it, but the gap between the shutter and this brick mold, you can see this joint right here. This is from the old handyman. But what kills me is he paid this guy a bunch of money to fix this thing. And when he pulled this piece out, he must have noticed that the joint between the back of this brick mold and the stucco was never sealed since the house was built. So every time it rains, the water's getting behind this shutter up here at the corner here, and it just runs down this line, and it's showing up in this corner back here. He's getting the same issue over here on this corner. He's got so much water in this corner here, this whole piece of brick mold is rotted out. When we talk about sash points, this is what I'm talking about in the window. When you see black on your house, it's usually a bad thing. And so in that area, it's just never been caulked and sealed, and they're all like that. And so in some of these areas, in the lower parts of the sashes, we're actually going to have to come in and repair the rotted sash. Um, this window in here, he's got a little bit of rot in this sash right here at the bottom. So the guys will literally skin it out, piece it in with back primed and sealed wood, and it'll be good as good again. Uh, and then some of these windows, we just need to paint them. This kills me. One of the big box stores came in here and, and installed this new $2,500 door for him. And if you look right here, he's getting water here because they didn't flash the door properly at the top. And they pieced in this trim piece. Look at this. This is brand new. See the gap in it? That should be one continuous piece all the way across. And that's the problem with the big box guys is you, yeah, you can get it installed, but the guy doing it isn't us. It's some knucklehead that's getting paid a, a ridiculously low amount to install it. And that's what you wind up with. On the window above right here, he paid someone to reskin this front window, but we think it's getting water from behind. So they'll seal that back up again. The right hand window right here, the nose is rotted all the way across. So that piece needs to be replaced. And then you get into this back here. So this guy, he replaced this nose is this outer piece with a piece of pre-trimmed or pre-primed one by two and then put a piece of cord around in front of it this would never work and it's actually pitched towards uh, level with the house so the water is actually going back towards the inside of his house so we'll tear this piece out and replace it this window right here the right side window we're gonna have to completely reskin this bottom edge and the guys will be able to do it and fix it my brother will hate it because that window is in really bad shape and again you can see the level of rot that's starting to come to these windows right here so you just want to caulk and paint your windows, keep them painted up nice. The left side window is the same issue. This bottom sash needs to be reskinned, and we're able to do that. I'm the only company I know of that will repair rotted window sashes like that. We do a ton of them because we're the only company that'll do it. Everybody else will come out and tell you these windows are shot. You need to replace the whole triple window. All these shutters on the front of the house, you need to pull them back, take them off, caulk and seal the windows, and then put them back up. In the rear of the house, you'll see some more of this handy guy's work. And just walk your house once in a while. Look for the black line. So, like, you can see this corner board back here. Especially on stucco houses. See the black line behind this corner board? That's an open gap. And it goes all the way up to the top of the house. More pronounced in some places than others. Every time it rains, where do you think the water's going? Right behind. And getting into the house. Back here, this is horrific. This is the work the guy did. He pieced in a nose. So, if you're replacing nose... You have to replace the whole entire nose. Otherwise, you're gonna get joints like this where the water's gonna leak in and rot and get behind the, the stucco or in this place, uh, this case, the Nietzsche Hana siding, which that's a whole different issue. And you see what happens if you don't keep these things caulked and painted, these sash points, you'll get this right here. So we talk about it all the time. You see the wrinkle in the wood? I can put my finger right through it. 
So the boys will need to repair that one and this one. And there's one on that side too. Once he does that, he'll be good to go again. This caulk work is the, the homeowner himself back here. This kitchen window, the guy came in, he pieced in a horizontal cut here, so that's leaking water. The nose needs to be replaced. The center needs to be repaired right here. But what kills me is he took a piece of interior casing and put it up against this, the shingles right here. So every time it rains, it's not a ton of water. But if you look above it, you see the gap? He never sealed it. You gotta seal the shingles to the top of that. Look at the back corner right here. See the gap here? So every time it rains, where do you think it's going? And the other challenge for this homeowner is get your gutters, like in a house like this, get your gutters clean twice a year. You can use anybody, you can use us, you do whatever you want. These gutters are clogged, so all the water's dropping against the house. Same thing here. So it, a lot of the stuff is kind of connected together. This window, I think we're okay on this particular window. This window right here, this bank of four windows at the back, these are all miscut. You see the horizontal cuts? And you see how the caulking is failing right there so the water's weeping in, weeping in? We'll just replace those and not charge them on those. There's three or four back here. And then it's gonna be kind of hard to see it in the sun right here. But if you look at this Nichihana siding along the roof, see how it's all delaminated? You can literally, all the siding is crumbling. So he's got 25 rows of siding up there that will now need to be replaced. There's nothing uh, defective about Nietzsche siding. It just doesn't hold up in areas that are prone to a lot of water exposure. And that's what's going on here along the roof line. And here, this piece, the only reason it delaminated is because all this water is coming off the gutter and dropping right here. We do a ton of this stuff. Just be patient with us. We run all over Metro Atlanta and we have for a long time. When you look at stuff here, the reason, and this is a perfect example of why you hire good guys. This guy made a horizontal trim repair here, right? So when he did this two years ago, this wasn't rotted. Watch, I can put my finger right through the whole thing right here. This is all rotted out now. So when you make a repair like this, you wanna be angle cut, so it should be cut like that at an angle, 45. And then this piece, don't use poly materials or vinyl, which is what this guy did. This will never rot to let you know you have a problem. It's trapping moisture and so it rotted the rest of the wood. I want wood trim that's back prime and sealed. If we do a warranty that's life of ownership, three years transferable. And that's how we've always done it. Um, the caulk work is the homeowners. Um, the other thing you'll see on some of these windows, and it's hard to see it, I'll do you, show you one more thing. The flashing's always cut short on these windows. And so for 25 years, if you look at this corner, see the black shadow right here? And the joint above? We did the water, every time it rains, it goes in and it wicks right in this window. And it's no surprise that he's got water inside the house, just in heavy rains. So we just need to seal that stuff. Good caulk is your best friend. This flashing is supposed to extend three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half beyond the outside edge of this trim, and it's not, it's cut short. So we can caulk and seal that stuff up for him. The whole stitch and nine thing that Ben Franklin always talked about in the 1700s still applies today. We'd rather fix this stuff when it's cheap, but we do it all, just be patient with us. It's me, my brother, and a team of 30 running all over Atlanta. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. I'm 80. See you at the next house. Bye for now.